The drow are no more in Pathfinder. Ninja vanish! <laughs> During PaizoCon's 2023 Into the Darklands panel over the weekend, Paizo creative director James Jacobs revealed that the drow would no longer appear in Pathfinder books due to Paizo's move away from the open game license, which allowed them to freely use and adapt the lore and characteristics of drow from other OGL books like, you know, Dungeons and Dragons. The drow will effectively be replaced by serpent folk in Pathfinder lore as the villains of the Darklands, which is kind of like the Underdark only in Pathfinder, with most drow cities in Glorian maps now becoming serpent folk strongholds. One exception to this is the famed drow stronghold, and I'm going to butcher this, Zernakainen, uh, which that was, you know, used to be the biggest city of the drow and is now a mysterious ruin built by unknown parties. No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. Now, Pathfinder isn't just, you know, no longer going to use the drow. The drow never existed in Pathfinder, and the official retcon for the drow and other major changes coming to Darklands lore is that they were made up by an unreliable Pathfinder agent. Uh, more details about the revitalized Darklands will be coming later this summer. Now, the Drow had a specific role in Pathfinder lore. They were elves who descended into the Darklands when it was prophesied that the Starstone was going to hit Galarian and thus set off a big chain of events and basically set up the modern era and devastate everything. Uh, while most elves fled Galarian and basically uh, went into another dimension, some elves uh, went into the Darklands and hid out under there, and they were transformed by a combination of radiation from the Darklands and the influence of Rovagod, uh, who is this imprisoned god of destruction that lives in the center of Galarian and uh, that briefly awoke during Earthfall. Uh, now, the drow themselves just bided their time in the Darklands for, for thousands of years and only emerged into the surface world uh, relatively recently, actually, in the events of the second Darkness Adventure Path, which was the third Pathfinder Adventure Path to ever be released. Now, Paizo originally leaned into the evil aspect of Drow in Pathfinder. The first Drow to appear in Pathfinder and that second Darkness Adventure Path were super sadistic, with James Jacobs actually declaring that the Drow are back to being evil in the forward to the second Darkness Adventure Path. Uh, now, However, uh, in more recent years, the drow were given some more nuance with Abomination Vaults, which is, you know, one of the more popular recent Pathfinder 2nd Edition adventure paths, introducing a community of drow that were downright friendly to players, if you could sort through their politics. However, Paizo has ultimately determined that the drow of Pathfinder are too closely intertwined to the drow of Dungeons & Dragons, which were also dark elves who, you know, live underground and worship demons. Now, while the concept of subterranean dark elves who live underground and are evil date back all the way to North mythology, maybe you've seen that Thor the Dark World movie that features dark elves that basically do a lot of the same stuff, uh, the modern conception of the drow, that's, that's really basically a Gary Gygax creation who made the drow specifically for AD&D, &D, and in fact those drow were featured in the first TSR published D&D adventure. And, you know, none of this was a problem when Paizo was publishing Pathfinder under the open gaming license. However, now that Pathfinder is abandoning all OGL content, they decided that there was no salvaging drow the way that they were reworking things like Chromatic Dragons and Duragar and tons of other, you know, lore from Pathfinder that actually originated in D&D. They just decided that either the drow were just, you know, too distinct as a D&D invention, or they decided that the drow weren't exactly worth it. Now, Paizo's decision to remove the drow from Pathfinder's lore won't necessarily have any immediate impact on players. Uh, existing player creation rules for the drow can still be found in the Pathfinder core rulebook, and those rules will still be available online for free once the Pathfinder Remaster project releases the new set of core rulebooks uh, starting later this year and into next year. And we should note that the announcement has 
already been met with a mix of outrage and criticism, with some folks just not understanding that this has nothing to do with the wokes ruining drow, and everything to do with Pathfinder scrubbing anything that came from the OGL from its canon and its lore. Now, we should also point out that this isn't necessarily a permanent move. Some form of the drow could always return in Pathfinder, although they'd likely come back with a new name that isn't drow and a totally different origin and may have nothing to do with the drow as we know them other than being elves with lavender skin and white hair. But, you know, who knows what the future holds? So, what do you think of Pathfinder getting rid of the drow? Let us know in the comment section, and don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons.